Channels Report. The Channels Reports in Google Analytics gives us a high-level view of the different sources of traffic we have and some basic behavioral and conversion stats. To access the Channels Reports, you're going to go Left Nav, Acquisition, and then Channels. To begin, let's look at an example channels report. As we mentioned, there's about six or seven different groupings that Google has out of the box for different channels. Um, we see things like referral, organic search, direct, etc. So let's quickly go through and define each of these. So referrals are going to be any other websites, which are not search engines. Um, so other websites, which actually link to you and send traffic from their websites. So an example would be your Aunt Jane has a blog, and, and she's so proud of you because you have a blog now. So she links to you, and anybody who clicks over comes across as a referral from Aunt Jane's blog. So organic search is going to be anybody who is in Google, Yahoo, or Bing and searches to a topic related to your website and clicks through an organic ad. Direct traffic would be anybody just typing in the website URL or bookmarking the URL. So if you have repeat customers, for example, they may have you bookmarked or they may just know your website URL by heart and they just type it in and they come across as direct. Paid search is going to be anybody that you've tagged as such. So if you're advertising in Google AdWords or Bing, um, you, know, you may tag your campaigns as paid search and they'll get grouped into there. Um, email marketing, same thing. Uh, if you've tagged it as such, so if you have email marketing campaigns running, um, you're going to see that traffic here. Um, display uh, would be anything, anytime you're out there buying banner ads, um, that's going to fall into the display channel. And of course, social, Google uh, recognizes some basic social networks and tries to group all that. So the point of this uh, level of the report is to give you that very high level of the different channels. And of course, the uh, pertinent stats. So you have uh, your, all your acquisition, behavioral, and conversion stats. So just to jump in quickly here, we can see that referrals are sending the most sessions of anyone. Um, we see about 67 transactions for about you know $2,458. Um, we do see other sources, such as email, which send far less traffic, right? But uh, the number of transactions and the revenue much higher. So this is uh, maybe a starting point to start analyzing what channels are important. Um, you know, which ones are obviously sending the most traffic right now. We know that referrals are, but not that much revenue. So maybe we can look at sort of the different landing pages from these referrals and try to improve our messaging based on where they're coming from. Um, and email, likewise, you know, we see a huge opportunity here. We don't have to send a lot of traffic to, to get a lot of revenue. So um, in this particular makeup website, you know, we really do put a heavy focus on getting email addresses because, uh, you know, we know that that is a good channel in the long run. Um, the good thing about this report, um, as with a lot of other the Google Analytics reports, so we can drill down right from here. So if I wanted to get a little more detail on referral, simply click the link, and that will allow me to drill down and get to the referral report. We're going to cover that a little more in a minute, but the last thing I want to cover on this overview report is the whole toggle functionality. So while we're looking at the default channel groupings now, we can actually uh, jump into some of the other reports right up here. Um, and they include like the source medium report and, and that. And we'll cover those in just a minute.